Now, what if the difference is not an AP, difference is in GP. Now, if we have any sequence, say A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 and A7, and suppose this sequence, it is in GP with common ratio R, we know that its general term is given by A into R to the power N minus one. Now, suppose the sequence is not in GP, we'll find their differences, say B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6. Now, suppose for this series, difference is in GP. If difference is in GP, then its rth term is given by A plus B into R to the power N minus one. Now, suppose difference is not in GP, then we'll again take the difference. Say this is C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Now, suppose difference of difference is in GP. So if difference of difference is in GP, we can take this rth term as a n plus b and c into r to the power of n minus 1, where r in each case is common ratio of GP. Now, let us take up an example. Say, for example, suppose we are given a sequence 4, 5, 7, 11, 19, 35. Now, this is neither an AP nor a GP. We'll find its difference. So its difference will be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Now this difference, this difference is in GP with common ratio 2. Now if difference is in GP, we know that its general term is given by Tn will be a plus b r to the power of n minus 1. So its general term Tn will be a plus b and what is the value of r? r here is 2, so it will be 2 to the power of n minus 1. Now we will put n as 1, we will get a plus b and it will be its first term, so it will be 4. Now we will put n as 2, we will get a. Now if we will put n as 2, it will be 2b and then it will be t2 second term which is 5. Now we will subtract, we will get value of b as 1 and if the value of b is 1, value of a is 3. So for this series, its general term Tn, it is given by 3 plus 2 to the power of n minus 1. Now we'll put n as 1, we'll get 4. If we'll put n as 2, 3 plus 2, 5. 3 plus 4, 7. 3 plus 8, 11. This is how we generate nth term for the sequence if successive differences, they are in GP. Let us take another example. Now suppose the question is, we need to find sum of first eight terms of the sequence 2, 5, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 26. Now first we'll find its difference. Difference is 3, 7, 31 minus 12, 19, 55. Now this difference, it is neither an AP nor a GP. Now we'll find successive difference. Now 7 minus 3 is 4. 19 minus 7 is 12. 55 minus 19 is 36. Now this sequence, it is GP. So this successive difference, it is in GP and its common ratio is 3. So if successive difference is in GP, we know that its general term Tn will be given by a n plus b plus c into r. r here is 3, so it will be 3 to the power of n minus 1. So this is how we can define its general term. Now we need to find the value of a, b, c. Now if we'll put n as 1, we'll get first term, so it will be a plus b plus c and it will be equal to 2. For n equals 2, it will be 2a plus b plus 3c and that is second term 5 and if we'll put n as 3 we'll get 3a plus b plus 9c and it will be 12. Now we'll subtract first from second we'll get a plus 2c equals 3 and we'll subtract second from third we'll get a plus 6c equals 7. 
now we'll subtract again first from second we'll get 4c equals 4 value of c is 1 now we'll put c as 1 we'll get a as 1 now c is 1 a is 1 then the value of b is 0 so for this sequence its general term will be given by n plus 3 to the power n minus 1 now we need to find sum of first eight terms so sum of first eight terms it will be summation tr r varies from 1 to 8 so it will be this summation r and then summation 3 to the power of r minus 1 now summation r will be n n plus 1 by 2 and then this is nothing but a gp it will be 1 3 3 square up to 3 to the power 7 so it will be a r to the power n minus 1 by 2 this sum it will be 3 3 1 6 so sum of first eight terms of the sequence will be 3316